Okay, bowl hold lesson two. This time we're going to look at rosling the bow. So first of all, we tighten the bow. Remember, righty tighty. Tighten it till it's about the length of a pencil or if you put your finger in so that the nail is rubbing against it and it fits. First of all, we then have to put the rosin on. The rosin is what makes the bow work. If there's no rosin, it won't work at all. First, the best way to do it is to hold the rosin still, holding your bow in the proper bow hole, and play on the rosin backwards and forwards like that. You see? You do this about three or four times, especially if your bow's been rosined quite a lot, as mine has. Okay, so that's enough rosin for me. I only do about three or four times, but then I might do it two or three, four times a day if I'm doing a lot of playing. Okay, I'll just put my rosin down. Now, the next thing we're going to do is talk about, first of all, remember, proper bow hold shape. Make a circle with your hand. The hand is above. First finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Turn it over and have a look at your thumb. Yes, it's nice. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to look at where the bow goes on the strings. The bow goes halfway between bridge and fingerboard and goes straight across the strings. Then... Put your violin up on your shoulder. Rest the bow on the D string. We have a high arm for the D string. Okay, beautiful bow hold. And then just draw it backwards and forwards. Don't press hard, just move it. Start with the bow near the strings. As the bow moves away, we call that a down bow. Its symbol is a tunnel. So we, and when the bow goes back towards the strings, Anger. We call that an up bow. It gets a bit confusing when you play the cello because the actual direction is down and then up rather than up and down. It's rather different. Okay, so a high arm for the D string. Just bring the bow slowly backwards and forwards. Don't go fast. Trying always to bow straight. Okay. So that's the D string. Now, to play on the A string, we have to lower our arm, like this, you see? So we not only have to lower our arm, we have to change the angle of it. Because if I use this angle, that's not working, is it? So we have to bring our elbow back. You can do this in front of a mirror. It's a good way to do it. Hand properly, bow hold properly. This is on the A string. Notice my arm goes down and up, not my this part of the arm. but this part. So we don't go like this to get to there, but we go whole arm goes up and down. We're now on the A string, the angle's been changed. Just draw it backwards and forwards. If you can't, I can get right to the tip, well nearly, and then it has to curve a little bit. If you can't, go as far as you can before the bow has to change direction. Okay, so we're now when you're comfortable doing this, go back and have a look at big time on D. Big time D, join with me. Big time D. Okay, and rock on A. Rock on A, rock on A. Now we could play reggae on A and D. Now remember to change strings. See what I'm doing? Lifting my arm. Look at it from the front. So, reggae, rest, rest, rhythm, rest, rest, reggae, re rhythm. Okay, so that's how you put the bow on the strings. Don't try to go too fast. Or don't go... Because that's not a very nice sound. Because if you're pressing too hard, just relax. Okay, and then it makes a really good sound. Good. 